Hey everybody, Max here from Max Gun, and welcome to a Sims 2 speed building video. This is a speed build of me building a small compact family home. So it's pretty small for a house that has three bedrooms, two bathrooms, and three floors. Um, I say small because it's on a small lot. The lot is only like one by two in The Sims. So there wasn't a whole ton of space to build a large house with lots of room in it. It's compact, it has everything it needs, and your sims aren't going to take forever to get to one side or one place to another in the house. Um, just want to put a side note in, sorry about the train, of course it has to come by when I'm actually like starting a good voiceover, of course. Anyways, sorry about that continue on so yeah um so this house is three bedrooms there is a basement as well now i have a video on my channel right now um and probably will be in the future um of uh building a basement how to build a basement in the sims 2 if you guys are interested if you guys are builders in the game and or want to know how to do stuff like that in the sims 2 um i have a video tutorial how to do a basement it's uh, gonna be in the card it's going to be in the corner. The link for that is going to be in the description below. So if you want to know how to build basements, go check that out. But anyways, um, so it has a basement and one of the bedrooms is in the basement as well as one of the bathrooms. And then the other two bedrooms are upstairs with the other bathroom. And um, this house is up for download. If you want to download it, it is the link again will be in the description below as per always, um, as per usual, as always. <laughs> but yeah. Um, I had a lot of fun building this house. I really have been challenging myself to build small houses in this game, uh, particularly in this neighborhood, uh, which is my custom hood of Meadow Mill. Um, I had a little bit of a doozy with this neighborhood lately because I, I didn't take out, like I didn't build this neighborhood without townies. I didn't do uh, the the CC magic, I didn't do anything like that to make the townies disappear. And I ended up having just so many of them. And I was just getting annoyed because anytime I played, just like all these townies would show up on my lot and then I'd have to use the visitor controller mod and it would just kept regenerating townie files and I was getting annoyed. Um, if you don't know much about The Sims, um, after a while, townies can basically corrupt your neighborhood and I just don't want that to happen especially a neighborhood that I work so hard on so what I had to do well what I tried at first was killing all the townies but there's like over 300 and some townies to like kill and I just didn't want to do that it was getting it was getting boring really fast I'm not somebody who generally likes killing sims in my game anymore I'm kind of past that at this point I don't know that makes me wonder like are you do you guys like to kill sims still i don't know i just don't i've been playing the game i've been playing this game since like early 2000s killing sims is just whatever to me at this point i only do it for story purposes which i will actually talk about soon <laughs> for the story for this family that i'm going to be living that's going to be living in this house but um i just kind of got tired of like i didn't want to have to kill there were so many of them i was having to teleport to my lot and i just yeah no so what i did was um I use Pleasant Sims um, tutorial on how to make an empty neighborhood and I learned uh, how to do that and then I so I did that and then for the neighborhood itself um, I like I didn't have this the uh, the terrain like the empty neighborhood terrain so I learned how to use this tool called hood replacer that one of my friends um sun raider sims told me about and she's she went over like she just kind of said how it was really easy so i looked into it and it wasn't that hard i thought it was going to be super complicated but it's really easy so i basically just use hood replacer if you are familiar with it you know how easy it is to just basically like transfer a neighborhood over and I didn't have to put any of the neighborhood decorations up or anything like that. I just basically copied over. I just had to move the lots over and I have to remake the Sims. So I had to remake the founding families, the, well, the one fan, founding family that I had made. I had to remake some of the other stuff. I haven't gone in and given them all their memories that I had 
in their previous video. Again, side note, I'm sorry for the train you're hearing in the background. It is really annoying. Anyways, moving on. Um, yeah, I, I have to go back in and make, uh, to go back in and play with their memories and make their, their history and stuff like that, which is going to take a while, but I'm dedicated to doing it. I just have to find the time to do it. Uh, so yeah, um, the house, the story for this family that's going to be living in this house when I finally move everybody in is it's going to be a single father living here with their, with his two kids and his wife recently passed away and he is the son of one of the founding families in this neighborhood. He's not the son of the founding family that is on my channel in a Creatism video. Um, it's another family and I don't have a footage for it because the Creatisms don't really, like Creatism videos don't really do that good on my channel. So I'm kind of like few and far between when I post them. But um, yeah, I, I uh, the, the, the sin that's going to live here uh, is, uh, is the son of one of the founding families. And that family is, um, they're, they don't really, they're not super rich or affluent or anything like that. Um, I mean, they have enough money, but they're, um, they're more of like the farming, they, they're more in charge of like the farming community in this neighborhood. And, um, their son, they have two sons and the son that's living in this house, um, like I said, has recently lost his wife and he has to raise his two kids. Uh, one of them is a, like, is a teenager and one of them is a toddler. And I'm really excited to, um, to kind of like get it started because I have like a personality that I can imagine for the teenager, um, kind of the teenagers kind of going through a rebellious phase, like kind of not really talking to their parents. Um, they're really close with their grandparents though. And I'm just kind of really excited to play with them, like play with this, everybody in this neighborhood, all the Sims, because I like the, the only thing that's stopping me is because I have so much set up to do. I'm not like, I'm one of those players that need everything to be set up before I actually do anything. I can't just pop Sims into a random house with an empty neighborhood and play. There's a lot of stuff I still have to build and like get kind of, established before I can actually play with his family the families but um yeah I uh I just really can't wait so that's what one of the sons are gonna be uh is gonna be living in this that's like the story for them and then the other story for the other son is that um he's currently engaged to um the daughter of the other founding family now there's gonna be three founding families in this neighborhood, three or four, I still have two other families to create, but, um, and other Sims, of course, to create. I do all the creating of Sims in Body Shop now because it makes it a lot easier to just pop them into create, a, go into create a Sim and just pop them out and just basically fix a couple of their outfits and voila, they're done. Um, and my game crashes less that way, to be honest. But yeah. Uh, so, um, the other son, as I was saying, the other son is engaged to the daughter of the first founding family, the Whitmore family. And uh, I'm really just excited to kind of like play that because the daughter has like her own secrets and it's a pretty like, this, like I'm really excited to do the overview of the neighborhood for you guys because I've, I, there's been a lot of interest that you, that you people, like that you people, awesome people have shown in it. And there's also just kind of like, I just keep building upon ideas of for this neighborhood every time I go into it. And like every little detail I put into this neighborhood, like there's some sort of story behind it. And uh, yeah, so I'm really excited about that. Another thing that um, I would, I like, I just want to talk about because something, I don't know if anybody's noticed, but a lot of the houses and or buildings in this neighborhood are made of brick. And I did this with a purpose. So I feel like this neighborhood or like this town is kind of like one of those, it has like a factory that makes bricks, like that creates bricks. And that's kind of one of the things that Meadow Mill is known for. And it maybe wouldn't be in this part of the town, but it'll be like in a subhood where the factory is and a lot of like the people work there. And a lot of Sims work there, and that's why a lot of the 
like a lot of the 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 buildings are made of brick because that's what it was founded on right like if that does that make sense you guys following along does that make any sense i don't know that's just kind of like the story that i have for this neighborhood and uh like the overarching theme it's like you know and i also love brick because i just find like it's very industrial and i really love industrial look i love like houses that are made of brick and i love like exposed brick in houses i adore that i wish that i had uh, exposed brick in my apartment i would like it's just been like i don't know since like high school i've always loved that look so yeah um that's kind of um some of the some of the houses that i have already built in this neighborhood um you guys probably saw in the small condo build that i did um or it's a tiny blue condo or something like that um, I do have exposed brick in it and I just thought it was kind of neat and like added. I just love that look. I don't know. Are, are you with me on that? Anybody that's listening to this like that look, let me know in the comments below so I know I'm not alone. Um, but yeah, um, one of the things that I really um, pictured for this family, well, for the for the son, that well, the, or the, the father, the single father, is that like they traveled a lot for their job before their wife passed away. And that's why there's like some kind of cool things that are in the house uh, that look like they don't come, like they look like they come from overseas and stuff like that. And I chose this because that's something like part of this Sims, like kind of like story development, like um, if that makes sense, like they're, they have to figure out how they're going to raise their child, their children, and they don't really have much of a relationship with their kids. The grandparents have a good relationship because the mom was close to the grandparents and therefore they were because like their the father was gone all the time traveling and stuff like that and now they had to completely change their life around and raise their kids and things like that so i thought that was kind of a cool story piece and I, when i choose you guys will see me i choose the picture in this um for this for this family that 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 picture there and that's kind of when i started thinking like hey this would be a really cool, like, it would be a really cool story to have this family be like a one, like, um, like a, like a single family, like single parent household. And I add another wedding picture in the, um, I add another, uh, picture of the wet, like of the Sims at their wedding, uh, in the living room. And I kind of, this area that I'm building now, I kind of like add this is like where like they take like, like they have some of their family pictures. I love adding that to houses especially family houses like like quote unquote like memories that your sims could like that shows that there's like a history with the house and with the family i kind of like love that about about in like with like building houses i love building houses that would seem like it was in the family for generations or that it was like an already established family living there that there's like history or that it could be a completely newlywed house and it like a house that are like a set of newlyweds and they're going to make memories. I don't know. I like I, I would love to hear your play styles. Like if you're listening to this, you got this far. One, thank you. And two, uh, I would just really love to hear the type of ways that you play your game and play your families in the game. Like do you create long drawn out backstories? Do you create like you know, like you let the game kind of create it their own stories. I know some people have um, have said that in the one Sims group that I'm in, they kind of just let their Sims write their own stories in that way, which I have done that in the past too. Uh, I just think that sometimes for pre like pre like pre established like or I mean you could say custom hoods, hoods not pre established hoods, uh, custom hoods. Like I like having a families with histories and because. I, that's something that when I make, um, when I go and I download neighborhoods, I love knowing that there's like a history behind the family, not just something you have to make up on your own. I love that. And they have some sort of story going on for that family. I know that's kind of interesting, but yeah. Um, so I am currently creating the, uh, the child or teenager's room. I think you could, well, if you download this house, one, let me know if you do download it. And two, you can kind of create your own story for it. I go with like a gray and blue theme. It's a pretty gender neutral bedroom, I would say. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to probably have a teenager living in this, uh, this will have this room for their, 
for their own. Um, I kind of pictured them would be a little bit nerdy, maybe into science, into art, stuff like that. Um, kind of, I don't know, I'm kind of really excited to see what kind of sim they turn out to be in this, in this room. But yeah, so I am coming to the end of the video. I hope that you guys did enjoy this. Sorry if the voiceover was a little weird, feeling a little anxious doing this one. So I just kind of want to put that out there. If you thought it was kind of strange, uh, it's fine. I'm feeling kind of strange right now. So yeah, um, again, the link will be in the description below. I also have my social media links. Give this video a thumbs up, follow me in all the links below, and I will be talking to you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye.